you know, you can take months to it, and then you need to fix, you need to discover bugs, and it's not easy. It's not an easy task at all. So, we got La Doga Caralia. <laughs> uh, We'll have a nice game here by uh, Stum Yaga against uh, against his opponent with uh, Soviet. I really cannot pronounce that because, uh, but he seems like it could be Korean. Hmm. Well, I could be wrong as well. So here we go. We got Stum Yaga playing this on the blue skins. Uh, it's a beautiful snowy map. So we are in the winter, winter time. So it's always nice to see winter maps. Uh, it's only a few maps in uh, winter, so hopefully we're gonna see more maps. He comes uh, standard build, uh, stone pioneers together with the bulls. Good idea. It's a quite open areas map. Uh, it's not that easy to play in. Uh, a lot of cutoff points that can be easy contested. And on the red team, we got the Soviet player here. Uh, another stun build, a nice uh, strat. Open up directly with double conscripts, so we have more conscripts we're going, going to see forward. conscripts, perhaps uh, three or four units before falling back here that uh, combat engineer to go perhaps a, a support companion. Could be, perhaps he is. He seems like he's going a little bit to the front line. Oh. All right. Oh, nice play there by Stum Yaga, going for the cutoff point, trying to uh, build some time for him. So he wants to bring more units to the field, and one thing that you can do is scare your opponent by not going too far on the battlefield. So bring that uh, uh, Storm Pioneers and uh, keeping uh, that small pressure here, small pressure there, just to check and lock down your opponent. Because building up that fear, uh, you know, as we can see here, by the Soviet player, he's playing more careful, you know, he's keeping up those uh, conscripts together with the combat engineers, not going too far. Now he's just uh, building up a defense here, capturing those points. Another conscript coming in, so he appears like he's going for a fourth conscript. Cover for both players, but uh, this would be a nice victory for Stum Yaga because he got the side uh, side here, so he's doing a lot of damage. But he's getting outflanked by double conscripts there on the reinforcements. Nicely done. Look at that focus fire. Stum pioneers and the Volskian ears of the conscripts are fully tired. Squad falling back. Bring fresh new squad in the field as well. Another full screen of years. Look at this. This is really a nice capability here. But a nice revenge play. There you go. Cutoff point being contested. You need something built. The Soviet player. Coming in engineers on the cutoff point. It comes the full screen years falling back. Trying to grab that point back. Comes a secondary Volsky years, so uh, we're seeing a full conscript build. It's a long retreat path, as we can see a lot of conscripts coming in, uh, trying to divide the enemy forces. There, this could be very damaging for Stone Yaga. It's a long retreat path, uh, a lot of flanking right now by the conscripts. Look at this. Oh, nice uh, response in time. The Storm Pioneer is falling back immediately. Fulton Ideas as well. Should be fine. Uh, there's a well, managed to. Yeah, it's a, it's a good retreat. You know, it's a very coordinated retreat timing. So, he, he setting your weak units back, keeping up with the squad just to be a distraction and falling the weak weaker squad, so it's really a Hold. good call. Regimental HQ for he did have a small losses there, you know, he lost the territory control. He's keeping up with the pressure, he got fuel, he got the cutoff point back. Uh, right now he just need to build up. We're seeing the mechanized regiment being built. 
So both players are very nicely up for... Oh my gosh. Alright, we're seeing a lot of conscripts uh, coming in. This is uh, five men. Five conscripts. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and a six coming in. Uh, that's a lot of manpower, so it's a very aggressive uh, play there by the Soviet. Uh, so I guess that he's going for tank counter tactics. It's he's playing against Austria, so it makes sense because any light vehicles, uh, for example, the Panzer II. Uh, 251 will be outmatch if he goes for for tank counter tactics. He got plenty of conscripts. He can flank. He can uh, encircle his opponent because he got more units in the field. Here comes a nice push there. It's a it's a blob. That's true, but still it's a tactical blob as I normally call it. Because if you, if you want to play to win. You need to realize you need to have a lot of infantry units because you want to play for the map control, you want to uh, inflict damage, you want to lock down territories against your opponent. And you should not be ashamed by blowing or spamming. Because I really want to see what Storm Yaga going to do against the six conscript build here by the Soviet player. Nice play there, look at that. Stone Pioneers on the front line, Volsgineers on the back. Oh, this could be a fatal mistake there. There you go, full squad wipe. But you need to realize as well, if you got more units, <laughs> you need to micro. You need to micro manage here, you need to reinforce there, you need to keep those squads on the shack. You, you don't want to lose any squads, and we lost the first uh, conscript. Uh, getting killed there, unfortunately. It's a small loss because he got five still. Here comes the Sun Pioneers to reinforce. Really nice play there by your uh, Storm Yaga. Keeping up uh, the infantry units on the back. Nicely with the stun grenade. <laughs> wow. Just a really nice build. Lots of pressure. A very solid on the terrain by Storm Yaga and going for the cutoff blow. Denying any fuel control. Really nice play. It's quite a difficult map to play. Uh, if you don't know the map, uh, it can be very difficult for you to, to come in. Uh, this is really strange. I really don't know how Storm Yaga is managing to. Uh, Locked down the entire map right now, keeping up with a nice pressure, and uh, he managed to kill one conscript. But this is a lot of uh, accuracy, it's a lot of firepower against uh, one squad. So it's just uh, denying those points, so uh, making sure that he's putting them on Neil so uh, they get a little bit disabled there just for that. This is it. Oh, a little bit lag right now. Hopefully, a day. <laughs> All right, you just need to disable the point. There you go, he managed to it. Going immediately retreating there. It's working on the secondary point as well. Oh, he we could go down here, but he's still got a little bit of uh, HP left. He should be more than fine, but he comes to reinforcements. He comes to beautiful. Pass it to another point being. Zable. I assume, yeah, yeah. It's keeping up a nice pressure, keeping up with the wing cover areas. There you go. So I was sure that tank counter tactics would be a pick because we are seeing a lot of conscripts. So it means mobility, it means that it can uh, uh, go for the flanks, go for nade, and then use the PTRS on the conscripts to inflict that final shot and destroyed the light vehicle. Storm, uh, yeah, okay, still, uh, still got a few options here. We're seeing the grand offensive. It could lock down on the late game if he needs, because in terms of infantry, it's totally fine, actually. Comes the PTRS. Look at the damage on the planes too. Wow, two shots, three shots, look at that! And that Panzer II will be a big mistake right now. 
Uh, but of course, when you don't know what commander you want to pick, it's not easy to counterattack it. Uh, so it's really a good pick there by the Soviet player. Yeah, a proper decision as well. We did see the amount of damage that he did on the position. So he means the tank cannot go for the front lines because he will find the conscript with the PTRS equip. Uh, so it means the positive will be obsolete. So he needs to be careful picking up with the fights here with the positive. It's fuel cost, it's manpower that he cost and invest on this uh, light tank. But he won't benefit from it. He only got one kill. So he needs to be careful when he's picking up the fights because he will never know which con conscript will be equipped with the, those uh, PTRs because they can get upgrade on front lines so it's not easy to come that. comes a nice uh, snare, another damage there nicely done, comes the PTRs again as if we're falling back immediately LMG trying to support there. Trying to deal with the secondary conscript there. He doesn't have any PKR, so he should be more than fine. But he cannot play too aggressive because there's the, those snares and every so many units on the field. It means a lot of man of uh, territory shifting. But I'm quite surprised. Uh, you know, it's a big army. We, we're speaking of. Uh, six conscripts and uh, the Soviet player is building up a nice man for float as well. Look at this. So there's no snare, so no Molotovs. So it's saving all little bit of fuel to go for that T-70. But Sumiaga already got the recon rifle, but it's not showing up to his opponent, so his opponent doesn't know that there's a, that Reckon Ruff is just waiting for it. Big push here on the mid. Fuel points still being for Stone Jager. Managing to grab a big chunk of the map entirely under his belt here. This is a very good for Oshchir. You know, double fuel, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's perfect actually for us here. It's really a nice position you want to be in. Because you're trying to deal with the consequences on the arm. That's all you want to play it. You need, you need to be cautious. You need to be... Uh, uh, you know, you need to pl play very cool. You need to relax. You need to uh, see how the game goes for you and all the game feels. If the game starts feeling really badly, you got a few options to do. It will be to go for the Schwer Panzer and uh, bring those Obersold Islands and uh, equip them with LMGs just to counterattack those infantry guns. But right now, the Panzer 2 cannot be that freely on the, on the field. So you need to be cautious because there's a lot of infantry units. I'm quite surprised seeing uh, a small army, so you got uh, a small army mobility, but he's still maintaining a beautiful map control compared to six conscripts. Just the conscript will give you a lot, a lot of mobility, flanking and possibilities. And now this is not that is easy, that is seen. Comes the Volsk ideas, trying to give some backup there. Panzer 2 cannot win this fight. It does a fair amount of damage because he scares away that T7. Volskarius could go down here. He's aiming on it. Just in one shot, but he misses unfortunately. But he's still maintaining a nice map control. Comes to Panzer 2. Okay, Ruffer always getting there. Nicely done. The right timing. The big issue is just those uh, PTS. They can be very deadly to Austere. They can refer on a soft retreat. 
Have control of being it. Shift totally solve your player. Double aim. He's coming in, trying to at least uh, grab this territory or oh, keep it under control. Uh, the map is quite open, open areas, so it's easy to flank. As you can see, you can even go for the edge of the map because you got a lot of uh, possibilities here, so it's quite difficult for, for the MGs. So it makes sense that going for double MGs here is a good option. Here comes the Puma. A little bit too far, but it's coming in. So he's bringing up the Puma to deal with the T-70. Nice shot. First shot, and he connects to it nicely. So he's trying to grab the fuel. He needs to keep that fuel under control. The fuel line, it's actually the the lifeline for Austria faction. So Panzer Optimization uh, should be on lock in a few seconds there. He could go for Panzer Falls, will be a good counter attack. Will be a good kind of attack. We know the Panzer uh, got a nice AoE damage, so it can be very efficient. It's a little bit costly. It's a little bit costly. It cost 140, uh, 380 uh, manpower, but should not be an issue. It's uh, grabbing out its uh, fuel site. Good retreat there. Well, it's just. Uh, not a fight you want to be in. It's uh, three conscripts against two Volskin years. Firma trying to uh, inflict some damage against the infantry. Beautiful map control by the Soviet player right now. So the early game until 10 minutes mark around that. It was for Stun Jager. Did beautifully there against six conscripts. And now uh, playing very solid with the, with the AMG crew. Now keeping up the Panzer II very mobility, you know, keeping up on the north, on the mid, giving some uh, backup and uh, having those stone pioneers with one sweepers, you know, getting ready to, to counter attack in the action there. Trip wires is very deadly. It's a great ability for the conscripts. It's, it's really a need. It's the only faction that your infantry units can build uh, three wires so efficient as uh, conscripts. We are ready. And now, you know, this, oh my gosh, this will be it. There you go, Puma will get destroyed here. There you go. It's a beautiful play, well done by the Soviet player. Those uh, grenades, it's very cheap. It only costs you 25, and each member of the squad it throws a grenade. Oh, this could be the payback, and it does nicely. There you go, engine damage. Look at the damage by the grenades. It's six man uh, squad, so each man throws a grenade. So it... there you go, Pitaris finishing the job. So he lost the Panzer II, the Puma, but he managed to kill the T-70. But it's a bad trade. It's actually a bad trade. Uh, you need to realize that the consequences, they can uh, get camouflage as we are seeing here. Uh, it's a nice ability. Uh, it's not easy for the light vehicles to survive a game like this. It's a lot of infantry. If, in, uh, let's say, you are playing with Wehrmacht and you decide to go for flame half tracks, won't work. If you decide to go for Panzer II, it doesn't work. Uh, Panzer II, uh, 2 2 2 doesn't work. It's just a difficult uh, difficult way to counter attack. I really agree going for the Puma because he really w he wants to counter attack the T 70 as soon as possible. Nice cutoff point. Another trip wire being uh, efficient there. 
So he's doing a nice damage to his opponent. Nice soft retreat coming in with the MG as well to give some press fire, but not falling back. You know, it's a good call. He needs to fall back those units who are risky to lose, but since he got that suppressing capability here, there you go, nicely done. Now he can work for the map. Oh, he managed to, what the uh, engineer squad there on the retreat. There you go, we did see a big flare, um, uh, a big flame of burst. So uh, the combat engineers went down on the retreat. Nicely picked by Storm Yaga. All right, so he decided to go for the grand offensive. I uh, truly think that he's going for the tiger. Uh, when you pick this commander so late on the game, it's 20 minutes mark. Uh, fuel control, it's not that great. Uh, again, it's a lot of infantry units. They can get camouflage with those PTRS uh, capability. Here comes the T34, 76. So, I really don't know. I really don't know what Storm Yaga can do here. Motor already dealing with the Shrimp Panzer. He got the possibility, he got the possibility for Yag Panzer. Uh, Panzer 4 could be a good call. Actually, since it doesn't control the map, having a Panzer 4 could be very efficient. But again, Peter has grenades. Now we're seeing a, a Ziz gun, a T-34, it's just not sure if the Panzer IV will be a good call. Oh, what's going to this could go down, that's the first squad wipe uh, by the Soviet player. What's going to directly on the front line, Maxim there. It's a difficult game. Alright, so he, he took the option to go for Pizza 4. Again, I, it's a little bit risky, but it's a good counter. He can counter attack infantry very easy. He can deal with the T34, 76. Uh, the big issue is just those PTRS, the grenades, and the anti tank gun. Still got the Schwerpanzer. Barrage about the Ziz gun there. Nicely dodge. MG34 is still maintaining uh, the map control. It's from back. Secondary MG coming in. Victor as well. Here comes the Panzer 4. Oh, it's really neat. Uh, I really agree to it. It's better than uh, a Yag Panzer. Just being more mobile to it. can deal with the infantry and right now he needs to deal with the those conscript build. Oh this weapons could go down here. Just need at least three more shots by the mortar. Back. Oh he comes to the PTRS. Oh nicely done there a little bit too crazy with the conscripts. A full squad gets wide there. All right. Nicely pick. Eighty gone. We'll go for another shot there. Oh, he's not falling back. The Panzer IV, unfortunately, he's trying to deal with the pack. Oh, he managed to do it. It's a good counterattack. This is a very positive, positive situation for some Yaga. He seems not, but he is. He, he did kill. Uh, a conscript unit, it did disable the AT gun, it didn't destroy it, but you know, it's a little bit bleed, and that's what you want to see right now. He needs to bleed his opponent. He got to uh, mechanize it. There you go, going for immediately for repairs. It's a good call, you can use the Stone Pioneers as well. It's Red Force, so they are a little bit faster even to repairs, but perhaps he wants to use it on the front line. So it's 21 kills on the Storm Pioneers. They are doing nicely. Comes a big push. It's not a easy situation you want to be in. It's quite 
uh, a lot of uh, concentration you need to hit. And if you got a big army as this, of course, uh, of course it won't be easy. Oh, AT gun could go down here. There you go, AT gun. AT gun goes down. Uh, nice flank there. He got Molotovs. Oh, that is. He needs to be a run, uh, normal squad. Oh, he didn't upgrade the Molotovs. Not even the anti-tank gun. Alright, so MG34 goes down. He comes to fix on the pan on the Panzer 4. There you go. Nicely done. Oh, it's trying to pick up the, the AT gun. Now the T34 to up out. Volkswagen is could go down here. No, he doesn't want to lose those squads. They are already veterans on it. A fully retreat here by the Soviet player, getting punished by having so many conscripts because there's a lot of uh, reinforce and manpower to uh, finance. It's not easy, uh, not easy at all. When you got a big army, you need to keep them uh, repairing or keeping those units alive as long as possible. Oh, it's supposed to fall. Should be, should be efficient. Managed to steal the this, this gun there. The Schwerpans uh, got destroyed, so it, it ended up being a good trade for both players here. The Soviet player still got double uh, TT4s and he got five squads of uh, conscripts. Still looking nicely on the field. Oh, we're going off a game there for the picking. Oh, you don't want to give a free support weapon, but he's trying to at least kill the T34 there on the back side. Just need one shot. And he did it! Nicely done! Here comes the T34. That's for fastly. The screen. Oh, he's. Oh my gosh. Uh, a little bit of uh, RNG there because he didn't get any crew shot. You know, he was using the blitz. Oh. oh my god. Alright, so rage quick there. <laughs> 27 minutes and uh, 0 1. After that engagement, <laughs> uh, the summit player decides to throw the tail. Seems it's not working out for him. Uh, this kind of tactics. Uh, but he did have nicely. Look at that. 10 kills. Another one with uh, 14 kills. But it's a lot of infantry. So it means you need to keep up with the reinforce capability on them. You need to uh, keep up with the map. I don't know. Well, I really don't. It's not, it's not that I don't agree by uh, uh, spamming a lot of infantry. Sometimes, uh, if you need to spam, go for it. This is a ranking match, you know? You you want to win. You don't want to give a free victory. Uh, but I think that he did have a, a possibility to still to go in with the game. Uh, there is 359 points for Stumiaga compared to 311. <coughs> for the Soviet player. I really don't know why he's quitting. He lost double uh, T34s, 7 6, but they are cheap. Uh, they cost you 90 fuel. And uh, Sung Yaga will need a Schwerpanzer just to bring that target again to the field. So he needs to spend fuel to upgrade. <laughs> to build up a Schweppens again, so it will take him at least uh, 15 minutes or almost 20 minutes of a game just to bring uh, a Tiger on the field, so I really don't know why he's quitting a little bit early. I guess that is rage quitting, really. Uh, he lost the MG crew, he lost the AT uh, for his opponent, you know, it's a free uh, 66 millimeter. it's really a nice gun. Because you can uh, barrage ability here, and, uh, 
it's a fair amount of damage against any uh, medium tanks or even heavy tanks can do a lot of damage to it. So, good game. Congrats to Storm Jager. Uh, a, a nice control uh, from the early game. I'm quite surprising. Uh, winning those engagements against so many infantry units on the field and keeping up with the pressure in terms of map control uh, scaring away his opponent but yeah, micro and uh, good tactics there by Storm Yaga uh, the option there going for the Panzer II uh, the Perma, well it was crucial uh, the idea of, uh, I think the idea of uh, Storm uh, Jager and uh, as myself as a player it will be to go for the Panzer II if I'm dealing with a lot of uh, infantry units because it's a good uh, mo mobility anti-infantry uh, but in the moment that he saw those PTRs wow the Panzer II just got obsolete really fast uh, he needed to go immediately Italy to go for repairs after the engagement then uh, the Puma was to counterattack the T-70 that was a great idea because he only did have one Rickon Rafa and he needed that uh, last shot uh, to be to to go for the kill so he needed to to be a little bit more mobile so the Puma was a good call we did see the Puma getting down this terrain here uh, was a great pick by the Soviet player, so those PTRs are very deadly, but the nades, it's even worse. Every member of the squad will assault the target vehicle with anti tank grenades, so it's six man grenades and it costs you 25 uh, ammo. It's very cheap uh, comparing with the normal uh, grenade that cost it 25 and it's only one for engine uh, you know it's just for engine damage you need to, two grenades so it's a lot of difference here and the price cost is the same and uh, it's very efficient so it's really a good pick it was a beautiful kill there on the Puma good trade uh, with the T70 but he lost the Panzer II the Puma together and uh, the game was turning upside down against Storm Jager, but he managed to kill the, those T-34s, uh, 76, killed the Maxim crew, stole an AT gun, and a really beautiful game. Congrats to Storm Jager, um, great game there, and, uh, but congrats to, to the Soviet player. Uh, I really don't know why he's quitting. Uh, the game could have uh, go a little bit forward, it could, could go for the diverse tactics against his opponent. It did have still a lot of conscripts, look at that. So, it's a lot of infantry units. Uh, you know, I could have uh, picked the uh, Maxim, go back to base, re uh, reinforce it. Uh, try not to, you know, keep all your eggs on one basket, try to spread a little bit. It could uh, be using at least one squad to go for the points here on the north, or on the south, because if you got so many infantry units, you want to put pressure on your opponent, and uh, you know, it's actually a top 50 player. I really don't get it. Perhaps the game that just didn't work out for him, or just uh, perhaps was a little too difficult, or uh, perhaps lag issues. We, we never know. And uh, but it was a little bit strange not having so many infantry units and not. Uh, benefiting from it, going for for the arrest points there, you know, go for the cutoff points, keep up with the pressure against your opponent because you will need to uh, spend years to capture those points back or put pressure against you. You will open up a gape uh, so you can go deep and go for the kills. Standing that by. Panzer IV, yeah, he did pay off. 10 kills on the infantry, 2 vehicles, that's right. So he did beautiful with the Panzer 4. Nicely done. So that's it guys. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being on chat. Uh, thank you for Flash Reborn uh, for all the work that he does on the community and uh, 
as well from Trick and Talisman. They did work on this map. Uh, we got just a fair amount of winter maps, so I, I really hope uh, that perhaps next year we got a few more maps to it. Nice exploration for both players, even with so many conscripts, you know, his losses, it's very minimal, so he he been doing really nicely. But I really don't get it. You know, he did have a large army. He could explore the map, perhaps. Well, I know that he, it's not the first time that he plays because this is a top uh, player with the Soviets. Perhaps he's trying out with the command.